Hey guys, so I stayed in Bahrain for one night. I also went to a few other towns along the river in northern Pakistan. Hundreds of settlements in Pakistan's north have been cut off by monsoon rains that came to a head last week, causing the worst floods in the country's history. To have these people move and adjust their lives is almost unbearable, I'm sure. It is a very desperate um, situation. So, as you can see, this building was very damaged. This is the place we had uh, drink tea and breakfast. Uh, it was very beautiful. Right? That time, full of light. And I'll, I'll show you a photo of this. So my friend here said a few months ago they were right over here, and it was really nice area right here. Um, but it's all been destroyed now. So yeah. So this part of the city up here is a little higher, so it looks like it wasn't damaged as much. But uh, down here, it looks a lot worse. Almost everything's destroyed up to the third level. It's uh, very dead here. Uh, even this building here. I know for some people, they're gonna think, well, it doesn't look much different than it usually did. Well. It used to be real lively and real nice here. And now these buildings are destroyed. Hey, looks like they have a new bridge. That's nice. a nice new bridge. This is uh, feeling kind of sketchy. It moves a lot. That guy's a beast. Weren't there other floodings earlier oh, yeah. in, in the year? In the, all three provinces there was flooding. Until the third floor, they've had damages here. We stayed here in uh, second week of July, and the flood came here like in August. And uh, it's all a mess now. A lot of damage. So is this guy uh, rebuilding? He's just yes, a construction he's worker? He's, yeah, he's a construction worker. He's helping rebuild it and stuff. So, what do I get? I said, well, he thinks within a month they'll have it going. 
ready. Great. This guy here is working on fixing it and uh, it's just out of business right now like a lot of places up here and the further up you go the more the worse the road is harder to get down we were four hours up the road the other day and, um, the, or a couple hours up the road the other day and it was really hard to uh, to think of how these people could be making a living anymore because it's hard to even get there now and nobody's going up there they were used to making money off tourism and stuff like that, but that's not happening, so. Alright, sir. J uh, July 26. This is exactly building I'm standing. See, brother Simon? Sure. Yeah, they I guess when they were stuck for four or five days, they put them down. Whatever they had, that's what they ate. Whatever was left over, whatever they had. So there you have it, they're trying to recover, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a slow process. And hopefully these people uh, do a lot better, so. Well, now we're packing because we're gonna leave again. We're gonna go somewhere even closer to Islamabad because we don't want too much of a hike for tomorrow when we have to leave. So uh, we're gonna be packing up our things. Uh, this is kind of what I'm used to anyway, it's just one day being one place and go to another. So I got my computer and my hard drive, got all my stuff charging. Uh, there was only one outlet last night, so that wasn't cool. Uh, we had a heater uh, with a propane tank. It ran out this morning. Uh, but at least it kept us kind of warm and uh, the bathroom at least had a sitting down toilet which was nice thankfully I had warm water for the bucket for the shower pour uh, this morning bath and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna get all my stuff packed here and uh, this is what my bag usually looks like so be on the road.